Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on radiology. And it's, I know it's been a little bit, but kind of I hope you kind of bear with me because I've been gaining a lot of new knowledge during my rotations in my local hospital. So I'm going to be having a lot more experiences and cool fascinating things I can share with you guys. Just like always, we're going to have this quick reminder. Feel free to take a look at it if you need to. But otherwise, if you want a deeper explanation, go to my previous videos and you should find it there. On another note, because of some of the cooler things I've been learning recently, particularly in the ICU and critical care units, I want to kind of touch base on the purpose of various medications that I've kind of encountered. Because... Essentially, almost everybody receives medications in some form or another, whether it be through IV, oral, or any other way. So I kind of want to touch base on some of these medications and their effect and why they might be used by nurses. So it can kind of better understand what you could be eventually receiving or why other people may receive it if you watch like medical videos or something like that. So today we're going to be talking about propofol. Now, what it is, is a sedative, and it can be given through IV during intensive care units when a person's agitated, etc. It's mostly reserved for nurses who have more experience in administrating medications because it's considered a higher line medication. And what it does essentially is lower the person's um, consciousness, and the heart rate gets lowered as a result and their blood pressure is going to decrease because of that. It essentially like slows down the body. And it's also using the anesthesia, which is kind of like to put you to sleep, right? Now, the dangerous thing about propofol is that too low of a heart rate isn't a good thing, and hypotension can become a real problem when you're trying to do specific tasks, like drawing blood, for instance or even making sure the patient's vitals are okay. Because it's hard to understand the cause and effect relationship between an actual patient's vitals and the effect that propofol has on their vitals. So the vitals may be tanking without propofol already bringing it down, if you understand what I'm trying to say. And because of these reasons, it's usually administered with other medications that kind of counteract these effects. And we'll explore them in another video. But another quick fact to know about propofol is that it gets very easily absorbed by mucous membranes. So if it ever touches your eye, ever touches any other basically mucous membrane like your skin, it can very easily go through and basically absorb because your body's like so used to absorbing that same type of uh, material or liquid in this case. So yeah, I hope you learned something new and next time you can kind of understand how these different medications align with patient care during like medical case scenarios and all that. Bye-bye. Hope you guys have a good one.